what's up guys it's Juno Beats and in this video we are going to deconstruct how the song Ditch to Me by Lil Durk featuring Duty Low was made in FL Studio. Alright as always credit where it is due this is made by three producers STG Beats, Jimmy Meech and DJ Bands. It's hard beat dude one of my favorite on the deluxe versions. Alright so here's another preview and let's get into it. All right, so this deconstructor will be fairly simple. You have uh, your main instruments up top here and your drums on the bottom. To start off, the main pattern, the reoccurring strings that play for this, we're using Purity, uh, just a bunch of presets layered together, mostly just strings, some violins and cellos. All right, so effects, not much, just gave it some reverb, gave it some wider to give it more presence and just EQ'd it a little bit. All right, next in this introduction section, you have another reoccurring instrument. This is just gonna be some brass. So for this, you're using Nexus, the classical Hollywood brass preset playing these notes. Man, what? <laughs> All right, moving on. In this intro, we have one last thing. This is the bass line. This doesn't occur very much in the song, but for this, we're using two presets. One is just a bass line sample. And the next we're just using Nexus, a voice uh, choir preset. I think you can hear some voices or choir vox in the background, uh, but the bass line is gonna be the main area of focus. And take a note, this is uh, like the ramp up little 808 chops in the intro. Similar to the box by Roddy Rich, you just go in here, chop all these up, and ramp the volume up. All right, that is it for the intro, everything together. All right, cool, moving on to this section here, we have some new instruments coming in. The main strings, as you can tell, will go will go out for this next string pattern coming in using purity again just some more strings these are going to be playing higher pitch notes all right so we have another string pattern coming in here pretty much using the same strings preset just playing slightly different notes Also, we have the brass just playing the same notes here, but moving on to this complicated one. For this, we are using uh, Silent One. We are using the Mega Lead preset here. If you listen close, there's like a slight reverse effect. I'm not sure if this was a sample or what, but in order to recreate it, just hit Alt Y to just flip the notes. Then we are going to go on our mixer channel and in gross beat, hit the reverse preset, turn that on. Other than that, just some crushing and some EQ, not a whole lot of effects on this, but here's the sound I want. So pretty much I just bounce it out as an audio file just to not have to deal with gross beat, but all together your melodies in this section sound like this. All right, now moving on to the drums. Here's a quick little snippet. Okay, so for this, just got a note. It's a pretty standard, but there are three 808 patterns that play throughout the entire beat. So for this, have an 808 Mafia snare. I think we all have this. You can find this in most trap drum kits. Next, I just took a hi-hat from uh, one of my kits called Durkio. Pretty standard. You can find something like this in a lot of trap kits too. I thought that pattern was cool, man. It definitely gave this track a lot of bounce. All right, next we have a couple open hats coming in. For this, I just used one from a Molly Raw drum kit, the OG open hat. And then also took that and reversed it for a separate one. Here's the reversed. Just in case, here's the reversed again. All right, and let's go to 808 pattern number one. For this, you're using the Spins 808 or the Spins sibling from a Lucent drum kit. 
I'm sure you guys have seen this too, but an easy way to just get that harder hitting 808 is just to boost this a little bit and I'll show you what we did EQ wise afterwards. Yeah, and just note that at the end they have some slides here too. All right, cool, let's keep it moving. Uh, 808 pattern number two. Okay, and last one. This is my favorite 808 pattern though, dude. Look how crazy this one is. Look at this MIDI. Like, dude, look at the end. Look at all this craziness right here. I'll play it again. So simple, but yeah, so cool, man. At the same time, like, this dirty pattern, dude. Okay, and a little quick tip, uh, like I said, with the 808, just throw a soft clipper on the 808, spins 808, boost some of the lower frequencies and the mids just to make it stand out a bit more. On your master, same thing, throw on a soft clipper and a limiter, just up the gain a little bit. All right, together with all your melodies, I'll just let this counter melody play and then I'll let the transition play. All right, I think that is it for this Deconstructed, guys. Really short and simple, but dude, this beat was so hard, I had to remake this. So, hope you guys like this. Hope you learned something from it. If you would like the FLP and the drums that come with this, please just shoot me a quick email, and I guess I will catch you all in the next video.